now available in paperback and Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. Looks like the white supremacists are trying to put the fix in the murder case of Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, your Kyle Rittenhouse was this teenage boy who decided that he was going to go down to Kenosha, Wisconsin after the sh riots that broke out in the aftermath of the shooting of Jacob Blake. And in the aftermath of that shooting, there were riots in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and your Kyle Rittenhouse, sitting there in his house in Illinois, decided that he needed to go down to your Kenosha, Wisconsin, to go and protect somebody else's business. And the 17-year-old boy decided to either go to his mother or some other individual who he persuaded to drive him down there, depending on the story that you hear, because these white supremacists are constantly flipping the script because they don't want that person to be held accountable for child neglect and child abuse. So what they did was ha say that this individual drove this 17-year-old boy down to your Kenosha, Wisconsin, in the middle of a riot with an AR-15 rifle and told him to go down there to protect somebody else's business. Now, according to reports, as the riots were going on, this 17-year-old boy who was in the middle of a riot zone and police never questioned him. In fact, they just let him go out here and be a so-called part of a security force with his AR-15, and nobody ever asks this white male teenage boy why is he in the middle of a riot and never asked him why was he carrying a loaded firearm. And as things were going on, your Kyle Rittenhouse got into it with some rioters and he wound up murdering two and wound up shooting and wounding another. Now, in the case of Kyle Rittenhouse, he is now dealing with a judge who says you can't call the two people who were killed by Kyle Rittenhouse and the one who was mutilated and wounded victims. You can only call them rioters, looters, and arsonists. And when I take a critical examination of this judge's ruling, it basically shows me how your white supremacists are trying to fix this case because if you cannot call these individuals victims of Kyle Rittenhouse's violence, then you are going to go out here and taint the jury's perception of those people who were harmed by Kyle Rittenhouse. And once you taint their perception, that's going to guarantee that your Kyle Rittenhouse is going to get exonerated from any sort of charges and that, again, is a travesty of justice, and it's a travesty of justice because here we have a teenage minor who clearly violated several federal laws, like going up, traveling across state lines with a loaded firearm, and we have parents, in, if the stories are true, or an adult who participated in endangering the welfare of a child, child abuse and child neglect because when you have a minor going across state lines with a loaded firearm talking about how he wants to help the police that is endangering the welfare of a child but in white supremacist america all it's again the law is not the law on paper the law is it's white because i say so and the kyle rittenhouse case is basically a case of white supremacists trying to make an excuse for a beta white male who clearly violated the law in an effort to give not only give him a pass but create a covert contract through the interpretation of the law to give themselves a pass so that they can feel justified in participating in violence against any individual. Because in this whole case of Kyle Rittenhouse, what they want to do is justify being able to kill anyone that they want 
And the whole motive, I believe, with your Kyle Rittenhouse really was he was going down there to not protect any businesses, but he was going down there to go out here and murder black people. Because what he, the only reason why he wanted to go down there was because of your Jacob Blake and him seeing black rioters. And that's the reason why I believe this boy wanted to go down there and participate in some shooting because he wanted to be able to try to get away with it and then he wanted to use the whole thing of being a minor to excuse himself. It's very similar to what gang members try to do with young minors and that's what these white supremacists are trying to do in the case of your Kyle Rittenhouse is make an excuse for this boy, use his minor status to excuse his criminal behavior and then create legal precedent where they can go out here and be justified in being able to kill more people. And this whole case is one that really, again, it just shows you the whole dark side of America and how we have a clear double standard as related to the law. Now, a couple of years before this, we had the case of Tamir Rice, who was carrying a toy gun. And when your Tamir Rice was shot by the police, for carrying that toy gun, he was called a thug, he was called a criminal, and he was demonized by your mainstream media, but we have some in this mainstream media who want to give Kyle Rittenhouse a pass, they want to call him a good American boy, but there was nothing good about this boy's intentions when he went down to deal with that whole riot in Kenosha as related to the shooting of Jacob Blake. No, there were no good intentions of this 17-year-old boy, and there were no parents in the home to let this boy know that he was out of line and to set hard boundaries for him and let him know that as a minor, it is not your job to protect somebody else's business. No, any responsible parent would sit there and tell there's, that this boy and any responsible adult would tell him, look, it is not your job to go across state lines to another man's business. If that man's business has insurance, that will take care of any damages as related to the riot. And you as a minor need to be looking out for yourself because law enforcement is specially trained to deal with these kind of situations and you are not trained to deal with these kind of situations. And if something happens to you in that situation, then that other person, that business owner, is the one who's going to be liable. That would be the statement of a responsible parent. And if we had people who follow the laws of this country, they would look at it from that legal perspective and say, look, this boy should never have been there because he is not trained to be a member of law enforcement. He is not authorized to be a member of law enforcement and no responsible police officer or police sergeant or watch commander is going to have a 17 year old boy deputized because this minor cannot make decisions as related to a riot situation. And this whole situation, again, it just really stinks and a lot you have a lot of people making excuses for this boy instead of holding him accountable the way people wanted to do with Tamir Rice and again that shows a clear double standard as related to America and shows us how racist our criminal justice system still is and how racist many people's perceptions of this situation are because again a 17 year old boy has no business going to a riot and responsible adults, they hold this boy accountable and let him know, you have no business going into a riot zone. I don't care how much you wanna call yourself protecting police and property and businesses. This is not your job. You are not trained for this. You are not authorized to do this. And the whole thing is, it's about protecting his safety because he does not understand the danger he was getting himself into and that's why he wound up murdering two people and shooting another because this minor 
did not understand the, the situation he was in, and he did not understand that trained police officers are the only ones who can enter a riot zone, them and the National Guard. And again, it just was completely irresponsible, the adults in this situation, who did not see this boy and say, look, this young man, we need to take him to the station house, we need to secure him, and then we need to find his parents and contact Child Protective Services because this boy is out of order and out of line. But no, instead of people holding this boy accountable, what we have are a group of enablers like your Rick Schroeder and many others out here making excuses talking about how this boy needs to ha have his life saved. But why, where were the people to save Tamir Rice's life? And where were the people to go out here and protect boys like Trayvon Martin? I mean, where's clearly there's a double standard as related to black and white here in America. And what's really, again, troubling is we have a group of people out here enabling a white male who wants to, who I believe wanted to participate in a mass shooting in Kenosha. And people did not see the danger with this white male. No, they sit there and like many in this America who refuse to acknowledge this man crisis, could not see that we have a boy who does not know how to be a man, does not understand the role of manhood, and does not understand that there's a time for a man to listen to other male authority figures because that's another reason why it was a danger for this boy to be here because he did not respect male authority, he did not respect male authority figures because had he understood about authority, he would have understood that you don't take yourself to an, another place or manipulate people to take you to another place across state lines and put those people at risk because you are not old enough to go into these type of situations. Because when I look at the whole situation with Kyle Rittenhouse, it is the same as, as sending children into a combat zone and those adults need to be held accountable, unfortunately, because your white supremacists are out here caught up in their emotions about racism. They cannot see the moral quandary they've created and the bad legal precedent that they're going to set because this boy's use of force was excessive. And again, he should never have been there in the first place. This boy should have never been there and adults should have stopped him because this it doesn't matter about who was on the ground that he shot the whole point was he should have never been there and the whole thing is we have your people in the criminal justice system enabling this boy so he can go out and excusing his behavior so he can go out here and kill again and sadly that may possibly be the thing that may happen because if we don't really deal with this boy's behavior, we're going. it's going to enable a lot of more dysfunctional men to believe that they can go out here and kill with impunity, and they may feel justified because, oh, I, was, I, I can just go out in the middle of a riot, and that's not something a normal person wants to do, is go into a riot. No, people want, law enforcement wants to contain the riot, but this behavior and this legal precedent will escalate people's behavior, but nobody's really thinking critically about this whole situation with this Kyle Rittenhouse, this beta male t who was just out here with no parent parental supervision, no adult authority to let him know where the line was, and no adults to set boundaries because everybody was so polarized on race that they didn't really see how they failed this boy and how their attempts to try to and protect him are not protecting him. All that's doing is further coddling him and enabling him to continue participating on a dysfunctional life paradigm where he will eventually, if he doesn't get convicted in this case, will get convicted in another case. Now, this is the, now that I'm gonna, that's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Coming to paperback and e-readers, e-steam cancel vacation. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a social justice social media mob looking to cancel her in this all-new e-steam series adventure. Pre-order e-steam cancel vacation on Amazon.com today.